Kelly Walquist is a Catholic evangelist, author, and speaker, and editor. And she's one of the editors of this book right here, and it's called By Name. Uh, a perfect fit for Vocations Awareness Week. Uh, Kelly, thanks so much for being with us. How are you in the beautiful state of Minnesota? I'm great, and I have to let you know that I am a runner, and I did play basketball in college, which was <laughs> a go. long, long time ago. <laughs> what college did you go to? I went to St. Mary's Winona in Minnesota. In Excellent. Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I coach high school basketball. Excellent. So, so we're going to just talk about that. We're not talking about the wonderful <laughs> book right now. We'll just talk all. No. And so many people think of Vocations Week as uh, a singular focus on the ordained priesthood. But do you think it's really that each of us is called by name to build up the kingdom? Absolutely. That's what the word vocation means, right? To be called. And primarily, our first universal call is a call to holiness. Each and every one of us is called to holiness. So Jesus is calling us each by name to holiness. So I um, apologize for my light there. I don't know what just happened. Uh, but we are all each individually called to build up the kingdom of God. Could you talk about the, the format of the book, uh, Kelly? Uh, and it's like a reflection, a prayer response to God's call. Talk about uh, the format and, and how people can use it and, and work with their um, in, uh, spiritual lives. Yeah, absolutely. It's great. It's it really starts, it's for every single day. It's like a three minute read. It, it is good for anybody. I, you know, you could be a gardener, you can be a mom, you can anything. It just, anyone, it hits you wherever you're at. It's a three minute read. We have scripture because if we are called by name, we have to know the voice of our shepherd, right? So we really get to know him in the sacred scripture. So we have a one little scripture that goes with it. We encourage people to do Lexio Divina, which is prayerfully praying with the scriptures. And then we have a response to the call, because once we are called, we need to go out and be hearers and doers of the word. So we also have a little journal that goes with it, that goes day by day. Okay. And uh, the nice thing about this is you can put in the date. So if you miss a day, doesn't worry. You know, you have to worry about it. You can just pick up where you're at. But it really is super simple and directed towards just anyone. You have some great authors uh, how did you find them, and how did this all come to fruition? Well, you know, with wine, women in the new evangelization, it's not about the wine we drink, kind of early <laughs> to talk about that, right? It really comes from John 2, 5. It's do whatever he tells you. So it's women uh, working with one another to grow in holiness together. And this ministry, wine, has such a charism of unity that it was super easy to find 80 women who would want to help other women on their journey from blessing to blessing. So we could support, encourage, and nurture one another as we are striving for our vocation, to live our vocation of holiness, to live for some of us our vocation of motherhood, for others to live that vocation of the religious life. So it was pretty easy. We've got some great, great authors in there. I know you were, a couple of them we were talking about earlier, but Dr. Mary Healy, Sonia Corbett, uh, Katie Warner, Lisa Hendy, and we just, 80 really, really good women. And, and, and I understand, too, it falls the uh, liturgical seasons as well. Can you talk about that in, in daily devotionals? Yeah, we, we try to do that as well. We, um, we do have, like, the Advent, the Lent. You know, Lent kind of changes every year, but kind of falls right in there. A uh, couple of the saint days, you'll notice when we get in there, they'll have a couple of the saints, the, the holy days of obligation, speak right to it. So it is kind of nice, kind of keeps you in, in the rhythm of that liturgical year as well. And is this, who is this, is it just for women or can men read this as well? Uh, who's it for? Well, it is for women, but yes, men can read it as well. In fact, I laugh because my book created to relate. My uncle Jerry's like, I love this book. And I'm like, it's for women. He's like, it's great. Um, but no, yeah, obviously it's, it's so Holy Spirit and infused that there's something you're gonna get out of each and every day. And like I said, you know, they're nice little four minute reads. And then plus the scripture, there's a little prayer and then an action item to go and to really be women or men <laughs> in the new evangelization. And, and each of the days you, for instance, I'm looking at February 20th, God offers himself, and that was done by Sonia Corbett. Uh, did you send topics to people and let them decide? Or did you just assign you'll do this? Well, yes, kind of both and, right? The good Catholic <laughs> answer. We did, we did both of those. We did assign a couple. 
uh, you know, like if we knew it was Advent, you know, give mm -hmm. us a couple of Advent ones, give us some Lent, mm -hmm. you know, um, Mother's Day, you know, the month of May, we've got a lot with Mary around the month mm -hmm. of May. Uh, but then it was, it was quite the undertaking to take all of these and then figure out in the calendar where they go, you know, liturgically. And also, you know, like the 4th of July, you know, we've got something there that is a, a military mother, you know, so just juggling all that. Um, and I had two great women, uh, Alice and Gingress and Alyssa Bormas helping me, but yeah, it was, it was really a work of the Holy Spirit, I think, all the way through. Well, Kelly, this uh, has been great. I, I appreciate you giving us the time. Where can people get a copy of Called by Name? You can go to catholicvineyard.com, and you can get the Called by Name. You can get the journal that goes with it. And one of the fun things for women, for anyone really, is that it even comes with stickers. So you can, oh. you can, de you can decorate as you journal, which I did not think... Um, I was going to be that into it, but when they sent me the stickers to go through them, to pick out the, the 24 we wanted, I was like a kid at Christmas. Like, this is so much fun. So, you know, we like beauty, so it's nice to make things beautiful, especially your prayer life. Yeah, and, and we're supposed to go over to Kevin right now, but that's okay. It's live. I can do whatever I want. Sure. You know, the, journaling is such a huge thing now, too. People are, uh, just love journaling. Well, and it's so simple. That's the thing. And it, I think it really, for me, I was always like, I kind of poo-poo journaling. I'm so busy. I don't have time for that, right? Um, it has made me slow down and made me really get to know the Lord evermore. You know, especially we, we always teach Lexio Divina and all of our all of our journals at, at Wine. But even this one, I'm looking, I use this journal. I bring it with me to Mass. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, like I'm taking notes even in this journal as during the homily. I'm like, I, I use it for our, our Bible studies. I use it for everything. So I think it's good. I think, you know, in this crazy world where everything is so constant, it's good to just slow down and spend time with the Lord and to really, you know, look inside and write it down. I, I, a young woman here uh, who works here at Catholic TV, I see her journaling all the time. So it's, it's a great thing. And Call By Name is a great book. Kelly, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Thank Have you. A